Yo, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is October 15, 2018. It is going to be my outing number 148 of this year. And this is day number four down here in Florida. Folks, I have slept really, really well last night. It is a beautiful morning today. To top it off, it is not going to rain today at all. I am ready to slay. I am ready to slay some species today. Now, you guys know Extreme Fully Fishing, if you've been watching the channel for a while. I don't like to come to the same spot twice when I am on these fishing trips, right? And yet, today, I am making an exception. I am back at the Hillsboro Inlet, and <laughs> you guys know it. If I am back here, you know, if this is Hillsboro Inlet version 2.0, that means that I have a damn good reason to do it, right? And I pretty much feel that the last time that I was here, I didn't get to explore this place enough. I didn't have enough time. I mean, there were just so many things going on, so many species, right? I want to give it another try because I feel I am going to land some new species over here today. You know, this is that good of a spot when it comes to multi-species angling, okay? So I'm gonna get started today with the Cast King Valiant Eagle with the Perigee 2 Super Power Brady line. And for a change, we're going to get started with the Cast Master Spoon because I have actually seen some fish here and there blitzing. So chances are they're just jacks, but you never know, right? I gotta get started with yours. I got shrimp with me. We're gonna hop onto bait and we're gonna do the whole thing today. Will we be able to get to 40 species of fish today? I don't know, stay tuned. Oh, and by the way, I would like to emphasize, last night I added another species to the list, to this Florida species lamb. It was the permit, okay? Sadly, I didn't get to film it, all right? I'm just gonna add it as a number right now, but you guys can trust me, okay? I caught it, I posted on my Instagram story too. I caught it last night around 1 a.m. Anyways, let's get this fishing session started. I'm ready to slay, man. Let's catch some fish. I'm the wave starter, man. Oh, there we go. I'm the wave started. <laughs> I bring in the jack, all the other jack follow in, and they all feed. Now these are small jack. Can you imagine, man, if these were GTs? I mean, small jack like this already goes after a spoon this big, right? Wow, man, I can only imagine. Raw, raw force right here. Jacks are pushing bait right around here. Oh my goodness, all the way out there. Crap, I'm out of range. You guys, you guys see that? You guys see that? Oh, I'm out of range. I'm just a tiny bit out of range. They have to come back in. Woo, that was some crazy bait, bait push. There's one blitzing all the way out there. Yeah, man, Jack Todd. I was just going to let it go. There's a decent sized one too. Maybe it's full hooked. Either that or it's a more decent size than the rest. Wait, what is that? Oh no, it's a decent size. It's a decent size, folks. It's a, it's a bigger one. Yeah, now this jack right here is much, much better than the one before. Look at that. Oh yeah, now we are talking more like jack. Oh yeah, son. This is at least double the size of the other one. At least double the size of the other one. 
I have to say, all those blitz in New Jersey, they have taught me well. This is a better sized jack right here. It's still looking for some different species, but so far, only these have been blitzing. Oh, oh my goodness. What is this? That was a mangrove snapper, son. A mangrove, <laughs> a mangrove snapper bit on the cast master. Now that is nuts. Got something. Oh yeah, that's because the jacks are back. Hey, look at the raw power of this bad boy. Not bad. Boy, nailed. Nailed that spoon. That's all I have to say. Nailed the cast master. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, just be, uh, how are you going to get it, though? Is that a bucket or something? Yeah. I'll, oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fall, man. Fall, yeah, it's going to fall. I, I'll go to you because, you know, very slippery guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, a bucket, I just put it in, you know, or it was going to fall. All right, good. Oh, you got that one? Yeah. Right right here? Right here. What, what is that? Red snapper? Red snapper. Oh, man. You, uh, where, where do you catch them? Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is real nice one, man. <laughs> uh, you just use shrimp? No, I've been using um, cut bait. Oh, cut bait? Yeah, and he, he pulled me under the rocks and I gotta wait and wait and wait until he Oh, man. Him. But that means you also get snagged a lot. Yes. Uh, yes, the lines are all serrated. Oh, I see, I see. Do you usually, do you usually catch hogfish over here too? No, not hogfish. No hogfish, just the red snapper. Red snapper occasionally, and that's it. Oh, nice. Yeah. If I catch more jacks, I just bring it here. Okay. Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, you see the jacks doing work over here, but it's all jacks though, only jacks. Look, jacks over there too. But again, it's all little jacks. It's, it's nothing, nothing like big. It's not like big jacks, you know? So I've been catching this whole day. It is getting, it's getting pretty old. It gets pretty old real fast. It's only jacks, right? Jack after jack after jack. So you know what? I got to start using bait. I'm going to set up one rod with cut bait, as a matter of fact. I had my cut bait right here with me. Check this out, huh? We got a whole nice mullet right here that I got to chop it up. I got to set up one rod on the bottom, okay? This is sandy bottom right here. So, I mean, you never know what you're going to catch, right? I'm going to set up a little size four hook with just a little piece of mullet cut bait. See if we can land some new species. And then the other rod, I'm going to play around with the smaller hooks and shrimp to see if we can add some other species to the list today. There we have it. Beautiful little piece of mullet cut bait, all right? Juicy, oily, every bottom species of fish really likes this stuff. Just gonna cast it out there. Doesn't need to be far away. Boom, there it goes, right? And who knows, maybe we're going to pull something a little bit different, right? Oh man, it's a checker puffer. Nobody wants to deal with a puffer fish. Especially these checker puffers. Vicious little buggers. No man, these teeth, I can't emphasize enough, is no joke. You gotta be very, very careful with these puffers. <laughs> I have to say, it's a beautiful fish though. Puff up, puff up, buddy. Oh man, it's all puffed up for us to see, huh? All right, go back. He got it. Hopefully something new. And it is not. It is just a little slippery dick. 
Day number four, you know how it is, folks. The repetitions really, really start to happen, right? This is the essence of multi-species angling. And check this out, huh? This is Lippery Dick. The Halicoides bivitatus actually got some juvenile collars on it. They have different collars depending on the stages of their lives, right? But don't worry, this is still everyone's favorite, okay? The good old slippery dick. That is so slippery that I have a hard time unhooking this fella. Let's see if I can do it without getting hurt. Yes, go back where you belong. Come on, fishy, fishy. Oh, got a hit, got a hit. I need a small fish that I can live line. Oh yeah, it's on. E, this doesn't feel small though. <laughs> I need a, like I said, I need a small fish that I can live line. And what the heck is a checkered puffer? Wow, son. These checkered puffer are not giving me a break today. I'm catching them left and right. I'm catching them on the inlet side. I'm catching them on the surf side. Beautiful little puffer fish. Oh, messed up on oh, my hook too. Look at that. So just, just, just go back. Please go back. There we go. What are these? These are the things, these are the things that the jacks have been keyed in on feeding today. I don't know what these are. I thought those were actually silver sides. It turns out they are not silver sides. This is another species, another species for our Florida lamb. Check this out. Little pilchards. I don't want it to fall off the hook. I'm using a size 30 hook. What is this? Wow, man, I have no idea what this is. This is one of those that are tough to identify. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if this is a false pilchard or one of the other ones, but I'm gonna take a shot. And you bet I'm gonna live line some of these. Believe it or not, these are actually really tough to identify. I am not so sure if this is a false pilchard or a scaled sardine. So you know what? I gotta find out later. But needless to say, this is a new species for our Florida's lamb. And I'm gonna catch another one right now on the size 30 hook to live line it. Dang, son. This has gotta be the smallest black margate that I have ever caught. Yeah, this is a little black margate. Wow, dude. Now this is a little beauty right here. <laughs> so cute. I am currently punching a size 16 hook in the whole cracks, you know, in hopes that I actually catch anything different or anything new. Little black margate showed up from within the holes, huh? Oh, that's a deep hole right here. Somehow I feel like I'm togging. Yeah, gotta hit, gotta hit, gotta hit. Oh, what is this? What is this? This is a Harry Blaney. A little Harry Blaney. Look at that, huh? Came from right within the rock cracks. We already got the species for the Florida Slam too. Beautiful Blaney. <laughs> they love, they live around, along the, among the rocks, you know? Very aggressive little buggers. Listen, I don't know what this guy has been eating, but he's been eating good, okay? Because look at that belly. This right here, my friends, is all food. Probably little minnows or little crabs, you know? This guy has been munching down there at the rocks. Alrighty. You go back where you belong. Oh, that's a oh, that's a deep that's a deep hole too. A 
I don't know if this deep hole. Oh, I got a hit. Got a hit. Oh, oh, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on. Woo, what is this? Wow, it's a bigger black Margate. Whoa, you got to be kidding me. So, I mean, I'm starting to find out now that the black Margate and the Harry Blanies, they really, really like to stay around the holes, you know? Let me clean the lenses a bit. This is this is pretty crazy. I didn't know this. I didn't know that the Black Margate like to stay in between the holes, you know? Now it kind of makes sense. Hole punching is a very exciting thing to do. Oh man, because you never know what you're gonna pull out of it. Alright, that's a nice little rock crack right there. I love them cr cracks in the holes. What is this? Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Easy. Is this really a Harry Blaney? I don't know, man. This one looks a little bit different. So, e I gotta take a few shots of this one. This one looks a little bit different. You see, folks, there are a few species down here in Florida that are very, very similar to one another. So, I just made sure to take extra photos of this fish right here just to make sure you know that what I have is really a Harry Blaney or not. If you Google it up, you know there are some other species out there. One of them is called the Masquerade Blaney, right? And you know, the range kinda overlaps. So it is a complicated story for these fellas. Oh, that's deeper. Oh, yes. And there's a fish right here. It is a denzel fish. Now, what type of denzel fish is this? This is just a little dusky denzel fish. Man, I believe that this is a dusky denzel fish. Hopefully, it is not a cocoa denzel fish. These are really hard to identify oh that was a sloppy release but we all good there are multiple different species of denzel fish down here in florida folks there's the dusky denzel fish then we have the cocoa denzel fish and then we also have a long fin denzel fish so i mean you guys can see how difficult it is to identify all these fellas right That's a new species for this Florida slam. That's a blue-headed Russ. Let's put it in the photo tank. Blue-headed Russ showed up. There you have it, my friends. After catching so many repeated species of fish today, I finally landed this one right here, the blue-headed Russ. This is a fish that is very, very beautiful in the aquarium trade. The fish is a little bit, you know, he's like, what the heck's going on? But this is a beautiful species from down here, Florida, you know. I'm very glad that I got to catch this fish today. The Thalassoma bifaciatum. I'm going to release it right now. I took a few shots of it already. This is just to show you guys, you know, that multi-species angling is just like this. It is usually a lot of repetition. For you to catch this new species here and it pays off you know it definitely certainly pays off look at that huh wow man there's some beautiful colors on this rust right here all right back it goes that's awesome dang son what is that Whoa, wait a moment, what is this? Dang, dude. This is gonna be the biggest Sergeant Major I have ever caught. This is a Sergeant Major, right? Holy macaroni, man. Oh, 
there's one. Oh boy, that's a nicer, that's a nicer fish. That's a nicer fish. Hopefully it is what I'm looking for. Hopefully it is a new species. Oh boy. Oh man, what is that? Oh, I don't think it's a new species now. Dang, my man. Just a big blue runner. Yeah. Oh, bro, a little blue runner. Inhale the hook too. Son. Bro, I found the species out there. A little blue runner. Dang, run pretty strong too. Come on, bring me a nice one. Man, something's on here, but I'm snagged. Oh, I'm out. Wait, no, I'm still snagged. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Oh, look at that. After countless, 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 countless of the same fish, we finally landed something different and new for our Florida slam. It's been one and a half hour since I've been punching these holes right here Whew, and always catching the same thing. So I'm delighted to see this schoolmaster snapper, the Lutz Janus Apodus. Let's take a shot and release this guy. This is awesome, my friends. This makes it three different species of snappers that we have landed since coming down to Florida, right? This one right here, the Schoolmaster Snapper. And then we also got the Lane Snapper, the Lutjanus Sinagris, and the Gray Snapper, or Mangrove Snapper, aka the Lutjanus Griseus. We are finally appro approaching 40 different species of fish in this Florida Islam. So I am very happy and pleased about that. Let's keep on grinding. Look at that, a huh? piece of shrimp filled with bugs, man. Extra condiments. Got him, got him. Whoa, what is this? Now this, wait a moment. Oh, this is the other Harry Blaney. Yeah. You know, the Harry Blaney has got a different color for males and females. I'm assuming this is just, yeah, this, this looks like the other Harry Blaney, yeah? Look, man, some people tend to say that fish identification is easy. Let me tell you, fish identification is not easy, okay? It is actually very, very complicated. I mean, when you see this fish, what exactly are they, right? I will identify all of them later, but I think it is just a Harry Blaney. Oh yeah, that's a nice hole right here. What is coming out of this hole? Dude, dude, that's another species for today. Can't lose this one. Oh no, oh no, this is another species for today. Oh man, this is a parrotfish. We caught a parrotfish on oh, what? tiny little hook like that this looks like a red tail parrot fish very nice this is a species number 40 all right man these parrot fish are very sensitive species so i'm gonna do the best that i possibly can to actually release this guy nicely over here i don't know how well you guys can see it or not okay water is going up and down I think the parrot fish is going to be all right. Yeah, yeah, it's going down. It's going down. Yes, we're releasing it the right way, boys. That's what I'm talking about. That fish is not going to die. I like that. Oh, 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 son. Now this is different. Oh, bro, this is a rare catch. That's what I'm talking about. Although I already have this one. It's a flame fish. But man, this is a beautiful one. I did not expect to see this species today. Look at that. 
Yeah, wow, okay. I really want to show you guys how beautiful this fish is so that every one of you can actually understand how stoked I am to catch it at the moment. I already had the species on my species list. I caught two of them before in the coral reefs during nighttime. This is the first time that I caught it during the daytime. And check this out. Check how beautiful this fish is, dude. Boys and girls, this is a fish tank fish right here. And one that you don't see very often down here in Florida, you know. It hides under the rocks. It doesn't really come out until nighttime. So I am stoked. I am very, very stoked that I actually got to catch it today for you guys to see. All right, anyways, I'm just gonna release this guy back in the rocks. Wow, man, this is my third ever flame fish, all right? Look at that. Holy cow, this is, this is a beauty. This is a little beauty right here. I am stoked, man. All right, you go back where you belong, all right? I see the little red going right under the rock. This is amazing, man. This is what life listing slash multi-species fishing is all about, you know? I've been catching the same fishes over and over and over and over today, you know? Monotony is a curse for any of us life listers, but it's all worth it when you see a fish like this come out of the hole. Oh boy, all right, I think it is about time to go, 5.30 p.m. I kid you not, you guys think, you know, I'm just dramatizing here? No, man, I am super, super tired. Fourth day of our Florida trip is coming to an end. And you know, I love these trips, I really do. I love the multi-species angling, I love the life listing. And today we just passed, what, 40 different species of fish. I love it. But on the other hand, these trips are also very draining, very tiring. It is not so much the fishing as it is the sun and the heat stroke. I mean, I don't know if you guys know this or not, right? I have been getting barbecued day by day down here in Florida. And I use 100 when it comes to the sun sunscreen check this out man i'm getting darker by the day you know what i'm saying so yeah the today is the end of the day four we caught some interesting species in this video i am very very satisfied and very happy that i came back here today i just got done doing a live stream too here on the youtube channel got about 30 35 creval jack you know the cadence hippos right and nothing else it was a blast it is time to go back to the hotel, get some food, get some drinks and prepare because tomorrow is going to be the last day down here in Florida. And the main question is, are we going to be able to break 50 species in five days of fishing? That is an average of 10 species per day, which I don't think it is something easy to do, you know? Well, stay tuned. And we shall see. Tie lines, folks, as always. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Got one on the Mayan cichlid. My goodness, so powerful. Whoa, this is a nice one. This is definitely a nice one. It's pulling me inside the pipe. What the heck? Oh yeah, that's a powerful one. That's a big one. That's a big one, guys.